I think my best memory was when they reopened. Because when they closed down, I thought it was such a shame. There were so many people like to come to the theatre, and there was nothing here for us. Well, it would just hope it should pay for itself, you know, because uh, after it had been closed down all those years, you know, and the fact that the other one had closed, and so we used to come here when it was the old pictures, when they got the organs came up, you know, all those years ago. Um, basically, when it first opened, it was brand new, it was lovely. The whole atmosphere just seemed to be, it was stunning, because I was one of the first groups to be able to come and dance on the, at the theatre, and it just, I can remember walking out and actually just being, whoa, what's this? And because it's in Stoke-on-Trent and being from a dance group in Stoke-on-Trent, it was sort of like a bit of a pride thing. It was like, yeah, we're going to do something good here. And it was finally something coming into the city that you could be proud of. Well, I must have come as a child, but I don't remember a lot about it then. I do remember my first date with my husband. Um, we came to see Bill Haley rock around the clock. I remember the seat we sat in upstairs on the front row. Um, that must have been about 1956. It was 56 because we got married in 57. Well, I, I came up here occasionally as a child when it was a cinema with my, with my mother. But as a, a young adult, the first things I can really remember, about 1957, 58, I learned to dance here in the upstairs and I've just recently, just a few moments ago, gone up there just to check if that was the same room and it is, it's now the Britannia room. So it was just good fun and the space, you, you seem to, it always seems so deceiving because there was a large group of us, there was about 20 to 30 of us and we all, the space was just big and you, you just loved it and it was so informal and everyone was really friendly. Nice memories actually because it was it was the, the cinema and I think everybody thought that it was a no-no when they were changing it to a theatre because they didn't think that it would take off in the potteries, but it has done. I come to see the Rocky Horror, um, also when my students perform because I'm a local high school teacher and they come to do Dance 08 and we've had students who were in the past Oaks Got Talent and is in this one, so we're coming along on Tuesday actually just to watch her and support her. So we do pop along quite a bit and it's not just a me thing with my friends, it's a family thing as well. Then I've already done the Rocky Horror Show and that was absolutely fantastic to see everybody dressed up. Really interesting. I'm so High School Musical BFG. And what's been your favourite? Both of them. Laughing and laughing and laughing at the, the dress up. I've got a, a very, very well made grandson that had got a basque and fishnet tights and high heel shoes, which, when he was mixed up with all the other young people, was fabulous to see. Yes, very interesting.